is against a database. It is possible to run a SQL statement directly against a database while using Entity Framework. This means you can run statements like this select star from in your own SQL language, language directly from the Entity Framework. Firstly, why would this be required? One reason that this would be required is that your select query is too long, too complicated, consisting of multiple joins, that writing an expression tree will itself be a time-consuming task. Time-consuming expression trees. This is one reason. Second would be that even if you succeed in writing an expression tree, but that expression tree might not be correctly translated into a desired select, uh, select query. After all, there is a machine doing that conversion and that machine might not be able to convert it correctly into the desired endpoint SQL because of the involved complexity. So there are reasons, there will be times when you will actually need to write your own mechanism so that a SQL query can be directly run against a database. Now the question is what type of queries like? Okay, the queries are select. You have one types of queries called select, update, delete, insert. Now these three types of queries you will never need to directly run because update will always against take against an object and will always occur against a database table which is always, almost always correctly mapped by the designer. Updating will never be an issue because update will always take place against a single table. And that table can is always mapped to your entity classes. I am not talking about sequential updates or transactions. I am talking about one update running against one table. Sequential updates can always be taken care of by stored procedures or can always be taken care of by running the queries in a sequence. So update is never an issue, delete will also not be an issue. You will always have a primary key and you can always issue a delete command against that. And for the same reason insert. This means these three types of queries will always be 100% handled by the link, by the entity system that we have studied so far. The only issue will be when you are issuing a select statement which is too long, too complex. So we, have, we shall learn how to issue select statements directly to a database from entity classes. This is the way we do. We use the data context obtain ctx is equal to new data context and pass the connection string. So once you have the context, then you can write ctx dot execute query and you can pass the string select star from whatever 